them at West Lafayette, Indiana, where the Iowa Hawkeyes are in town, the 11th rated team in the nation to play the Purdue Boilermakers. And there is Hayden Fry. He says his Hawkeyes must win every game to return to the Rose Bowl. If Hayden wins today, he'll tie John Heisman for 17th in career victories with 185. Jim Coletto in his, in his first year at Purdue. They give the football right away to Jeff Hill, and he is out past the 40-yard line. Hill is inside Hawkeye territory and finally out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Leading the way, Leroy Smith. He is an outstanding pass rusher, six sacks, third best in the Big Ten. Marie Crane replaces the injured Rod Davis. Linebackers, John Derby's a three-year starter, 207 career tackles. Defensive backfield has plenty of experience. Brian Wise, in particular, a big hitter at strong safety, goes 6'2", 215. Give it to Coleman. He's got the first down and the touchdown. They miss up the point after touchdown, and O'Leary is going to be smashed down at the 18-yard line. Backs and receivers. Dane and Hughes is the game breaker at wing back, averaging 20 yards per catch. Saunders, Montgomery, two capable running backs. Hawkeye line. Mike Devlin will have his work cut out for him against Purdue's All Big Ten nose guard, Jeff Scanina. This is exactly the way Purdue would have hoped this game to start. Let's see what happens. A little bit of a ball handling fake right there. He has it secured, Saunders does, gets hit. It looks like he bumps into his own man from behind, and that's a true fumble right there, and Harden is able to fall on the ball. Clock down to two, and Rogers gets it off. He's going deep. He's got Hughes out there, makes the catch inside the 25-yard line. This time, he goes back to John Falloon, and Falloon's inside the 15-yard line and near another first down. Rogers, plenty of time again. Finds his man over the middle, Montgomery. He's to the two-yard line. First and goal from the two. Montgomery, touchdown. And we are tied at six. Well, Hayden Fry, to turn around, actually, you know, turning around two different programs at Iowa, when they went there, they had lost to Purdue 20 straight years. And look what they've done now. He's built this program back up, and now active at winning his coaches right here. He's up there with some great names right there in Paterno and Bowden. You're right, SMU. North Texas State, Iowa, and Iowa had not won for 17 straight years before Hayden took over. We are through 15 minutes here in West Lafayette, Indiana. Seven to six, Iowa with the lead on Purdue. First and 10 from the 22. Honor with time, has his man inside the 10 yard line, Ernest Callaway. Rogers, touchdown. Fifth touchdown this year. They're going for two because they fit, missed their first extra point. And Hunter to the air. He's in trouble, and down he goes. So Purdue has the lead, but it's just by five points, 12 to seven. Larry Blue on the sack, number 95, the junior from Hempstead, New York. Boilermakers up by five. And Rodgers must throw on second and 11. It's intercepted at the 25 yard line. Two turnovers already for Iowa in this football game is putting an underdog Purdue back in the game. Prior to this, it's 27. This one's from 32. He's got it. It's long enough. It's good. And Purdue stretches their lead over the 11th best team in the country. 15 to 7, Boilermakers over the Hawkeyes. Walker comes hard from the outside. Rogers in trouble. He escapes free the middle. He'll get to the 50, and he will get the first down. So here's Jeff Skillet, the senior, Silva, Illinois. It is knocked away from 29 yards out, and Purdue holds on to their 15-7 lead. Second and six. Scramble. Hunter's down at the 15-yard line, and Leroy Smith with his seventh sack this year. 33 seconds to play first half. Rogers has his tight end for the first down. Allen Cross. Saunders open over the middle. Instead, they throw it to the man coming around Jasper. He's hustling to get out of bounds, but did he? 
They say he did get out of bounds. They stopped the clock with five seconds remaining. And here comes Skillet with five seconds left. His career best is 48. This one's from 50. Well, he hits it, but it's going to be about 15 yards short. And Purdue will head to the locker room playing awfully well. 15 to 7. They lead the 11th rated Hawkeyes. Saunders the longest in his career. Here you see it. They're going to mount an attack right up the middle with an isolation play. Everybody is accounted for. A couple of missed tackles from the sideline, and no one is going to catch Mike Saunders. Well, he's, he's got 13 he rushes now for 100 yards. Yeah, you know, and, and the big bulk bit obviously on this 73 yarder right here, but boy, does that change the game in a hurry. Where they will go for the two. Saunders staying in there after the long run. Kuyaba, the hero last year in the win over Michigan. Play action, incomplete. It remains a two-point game, 15-13, Purdue leads. He goes to a secondary receiver. Saunders, he's down the sideline, and Saunders just eating up the Purdue defense right now. 24 yards on the play. See, Rodgers is going to dump the ball off this time. Now watch Lou Montgomery come the other back and make a great block on Young this time to spring him. Saunders down the sideline. Great effort by Montgomery. Lou Montgomery is playing an outstanding football game. Saunders goes for, for 73 yards, but Montgomery is blocking. It's been impressive. From 28 yards out for the Iowa lead. He just did get it inside the crossbars. And Iowa, after being down by eight points at halftime, just six minutes in, has the lead. He fell down at the 15-yard line. And he's sacked near the goal line. Third and 10. the 11-yard line, Ron Gator. What's so tough about these sacks, it's one thing not to pick up the first down, but to be losing yards like this, it keeps putting the Iowa Hawkeye offense with the ball inside Purdue territory, and sooner or later, you know they're going to be able to get it. Jasper inside the four. You see it, fourth and goal. Montgomery, touchdown. That's really impressed by Montgomery, the leading receiver on this football team, and one load of a fullback. Well, they're going for the two, and Hartley gets the two. 17 unanswered points to start this second half. And they've done it just 13 minutes. The Hawkeyes now up on Purdue, 24 to 15. Matt Whitaker was waving for about 10 seconds to Hartley, trying to say, I'm as open as you can get. Give me the football. I'm at the back of the end zone. Somebody forgot to cover me. Finally, Hartley finds out put him in there for the touchdown. I mean, for the two-point conversion. <laughs> yeah, I think Hayden's doing the same thing. <laughs> 11 to play in the third. Heiner has the ball stripped, and Leroy Smith was there again, coming from the left defensive end. Leroy Smith and his 4-5 speed has just been too much for Derek Schmidt, number 64. He's coming from the outside, and Schmidt is having a problem. Second and 22 for Eric Heiner and Purdue. 
tries to scramble away from trouble again. He's out past the 25. He gets a block. Hunter's going to get the first down at midfield. And what a job of scrambling by Eric Hunter. After the 27-yard run by Eric Hunter, it's first and 10 for Purdue at midfield. They are down 24-15. And here comes Leroy Smith again. Shouldn't Speed. be any real surprise to the people calling plays for Purdue that Smith and Blue are coming almost every play from the outside. They tried to get a guard on him on a bootleg play. He just didn't get there in time. And as you said, speed. He was in the backfield and he was looking up one guy, Eric Hunter. He has a man wide open left. He can't find it. And now drops the football. And the Hawkeyes have recovered. Ron Gator. So from the Purdue 31, Rodgers fakes right. He's going for the home run. He's looking for Hughes. It is intercepted. Jimmy Young, who leads the Big Ten, his sixth interception this year. It is tipped and intercepted by Scott Clay. And now some flags go flying because of the late hits. already and he has another one blocked <laughs> Purdue has given themselves chances but they must take advantage of it they have not scored in the second half Hunter, nobody open great coverage by Iowa Hunter's going to get sacked inside his 10. Rodgers had crossover, but he's going downfield, though. He has his man, John Falloon. And that's a Hawkeye first down. From the 26-yard line, Saunders to the 20. Saunders to the 10. He may score. Saunders will score. 26 yards and a career-best effort for number 32 of Iowa. One after touchdown through, and it is now 24 unanswered points by Iowa in the second half, capped off by Mike Saunders' 26 yard run. Look at that, Gary. For the second straight week, Iowa has just stopped the other team cold with their defense and allowed that offense to explode. Going to the air. He's airing it out as well. And the catch is made by Purdue. And look at this, Ernest Callaway. Callaway's going in for the touchdown. I don't really understand this at all. There's a 10 point difference right here with two minutes to go in the game, and he's going for one point. And it's blocked. So it's 31 21. Uh, somebody's they not keeping track of something on the sideline right there. They deserve to have that block. The sack is made. Mike Eight Wells. sacks on the day, and this time Mike Wells came through. Well, we are over here in West Lafayette, Indiana. 31 21, the uh, number 11 Hawkeyes led by Hayden Fry. The winners today, the record now 3 1, 6 1 overall. For Gary Danielson, I'm Steve Fiziak.